What's up, you guys? I'm Christina Sheree. If you're new to my channel, hey, why don't you go ahead and take this quick little sec and, you know, hit the subscribe button. Because why not? <laughs> and if you're returning, it's always good to see you. Um, so today, you guys, I really, well, I filmed another video and I just threw on my sweatshirt and was going to clean up and stuff. And I was like, you know what? Why don't I just film a video that shows my beauty space? Um, I moved and so my space is quite a bit smaller and so I've had to get really creative with how I organize things so I'm going to take you on a tour of that like where I get my where I got my containers from all those kinds of things I'll link all of that stuff down in the description box below um, but yeah I really kind of just wanted to show you how I organize uh, in a small space and what that looks like so why don't we go ahead and just jump into this video Okay, you guys, so this is my little beauty area. I won't show you the rest of the space because it's a bit messy, but this chair I actually got from Amazon, so I love it. It's actually really, really pretty cool. This is where the magic happens when I'm not filming. So let me just kind of take you on a walk through all of this. Okay, you guys, so let me just say in advance, forgive me if it's shaky. I'm kind of holding the camera here. So we're going to start. This is my little area. This is where all the magic happens when I'm not filming. <laughs> no, seriously, this is my area. Um, I had to get creative with space, so I'm going to kind of walk you through that. These um, containers right here, I got those. This one here, the smaller one, I got from Target. And I got these bigger ones, these bigger white ones from Walmart, actually. And this little board here, I actually went to Home Depot and cut it and then <clears throat> spray painted it white because what happens is, is when you put those big things full of makeup on it, it bows because it's just plastic. So if you want to get these, that's a tip for you. So starting in this area, that little pink thing right there, not pink, Jesus, Christina, <laughs> that blue, that teal thing right there, that is where I have all my perfume. And this is my face area. So I have my moisturizers, my toners, um, eye cream, all those things. This container here, I got this one from Amazon. Pretty good deal, actually. Um, I'll see if I can find it and link it below. So let's just kind of go through this. I have a smaller set here just because it fits space-wise. So up top, what I have in here, this is my... <laughs> what I put over my hair at night but then I have some chargers for my face moisturizer I got this a really long time ago this is really good if you want to kind of keep your face nice and tight <laughs> um, this is just some earrings that I kind of go for frequently some uh, bobby pins and makeup wipes so this is just kind of a catch-all drawer here here I have quite a bit of stuff <laughs> But this is where I keep my uh, high-end luxury brand lip products. So some Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, uh, Charlotte Tilbury. There's just kind of a lot of stuff in there, like slowly pulling it out. But that's where I keep my high-end lip stuff. I'll show you where I keep my others. Um, this drawer right here, I just have... I've been doing a drugstore series, so this is where I keep my most used drugstore stuff. So... I keep the boxes, by the way, so you'll see that in everything. I It's not all new stuff. I keep the boxes. I'm just kind of weird like that. But this is where I have my e.l.f., my Milani. I have drugstore palettes that are mixed in with my other palettes, but uh, this is most recent, and this is kind of what I have for that. This is my catch-all drawer. These are palettes that I have that I want to use and do a video on. Um, I also have that little bag back there has my liquid liners in it. This is my, I don't have a lot of single shadow shadows, but I got this book here by Colored Rain, and I keep the ones that I do have in here. So maybe I'll do a video on that. But um, this is really the extent of my small single shadows, but I keep that in there. Um, so two mirrors, this one I actually like. I got this one from Walmart. It's a little dirty, so I'm not gonna show you the top of it, but you can, it's got USB in the back, you can kind of play your music through it, 
answer your phone, all that stuff. And then this little Clarisonic one. And then this little Clarisonic one right here. So the way I organized this one here, I got this container from, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, where did I get it from? Oh, from Amazon. And this one was slightly used. I got another one, this one here, from Walmart. Um, and that one was brand new. But let's go to this one here. So the way that I organize my face stuff is this drawer here. And again, guys, I keep boxes. So, But this drawer here is all my contour stuff. So my contour palettes. I use one of the concealers as a contour as well. So this is anything that has to do with contouring. This drawer right here is my eyebrows and concealer. And this drawer right here is like face powder. So, oh, except for this one. This one's bronzer, but it wouldn't fit in here. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. Whoops. <laughs> this is my bronzer stuff in here. Minus the uh, bronzer thing right there. Um, it just wouldn't fit in there. So that's all my bronzers. Um, over here, you have... Or we have this is just my sponges um blender brushes flat shader brushes these are all my detail brushes uh face brushes right there some cleaning stuff makeup cleaning stuff and then whoops sorry got a little dark this here is where i keep all of my so this thing here this is where i keep my um my glosses, the ones that I'm going to use the most, some lip lip oils down here, lip scrubbers, um, lip mask. I actually have lip mask over there as well, but I have this. This container is, I don't know where I got this from. Probably got it from like Target or Walmart or something. But it's really cool because you can stack it. So, Okay, so this right here, this is a painting that, or it's a painting, but it's a picture that's printed on a um, canvas. This is a picture that I took when I went to Puerto Rico and it's like one of my favorite uh, pictures ever. It's like one of my best memories of going there. But this is what I have there. And this little area here, these are my um, lip products. So I have my other lip glosses. I have some lipsticks. Um, this right here. I got these containers from Melt. If you wait to get them on sale, they're like $10. But other than that, I think they're like $30. i am not really sure. But... This one I have all of my red lip liners, colored lip liners, just anything that's not neutral. These are my neutral ones and containers again. These are all of my lip products and I have them broken down by color. So like this one here has kind of the taupey nudes, then peachy nudes, then pinky nudes, red, dark red colored sienna like I separate them by color and I find that that really works for me because usually when I'm getting dressed or if I'm doing a video I have an idea of the shade or a color that I want so that helps me there then if we move over here a lot of stuff there let me zoom out zoom in um this area here I have palettes on the side that I either want to do a video on or want to kind of play with more often up here I have I just the picture is of the owners of melt so Laura and Dana um I really like that brand it's like one of my favorite brands but anyways okay so what we have up here I don't wear foundation um but I do sometimes I'll use like a glow boost which is tinted like this one's from NARS here um but for the most part it's just primers and that's about it lotion so if we're looking at it here in the front these are some of my primers this is a really good kind of toner glow boost thing and then in the middle I have uh, some matte primers some toners and then the back those are setting sprays and then over here these are all my glow products right here so minus this mirror this glow product here this one here again I keep the boxes so don't for most things this is my glow boost here these are some other glows here and then back here I have kind of a matte primer um, eyelash moisturizer mascara that's pretty much kind of a catch-all everything over there and then we're moving down here I have this drawer which has really all my eyeliners in there it has 
yeah, eyeliners, <laughs> liquid liners, uh, pencil liners. Um, I think I have one mascara in there, but it's really just supposed to be liners in there. And that's all for there. This is just tools. Right now it's kind of empty because I have a lot of the stuff in my filming area, but like sharpeners. I don't really wear lashes, but if I do lash glue, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory what that drawer is. Um, this one here, these are all my primers. And primers and like infinity glass if I want to do kind of a, a makeup look that kind of looks wet. Glitter adhesive. Yeah, more primers. Um, glitter glue, all that stuff. So all that stuff's in there. And then in here, I have my cream glow products. Uh, this is a this is a glow product as well, but it's not cream. Let me turn it around. So that there. And then my other cream products here. So this is the Dominique Cosmetics, which I like. And then my Fenty blushes, my NARS liquid blushes, and my Tower 28 cream blushes. So these are the cream liquid powders minus those there. Okay, you guys, so the way I organize my makeup, I do it by how I feel. Uh, so to put it kind of bluntly, um, I usually know if I'm in a neutral mood, a colorful mood, a warm mood, a pink mood. Um, so I organize my palettes and stuff by that. This top drawer, though, this is my blushes and my highlighters. Um, I have a problem. I really love blush. Like a lot. Um, so... We'll start over here. Um, this container actually is divided. I got this from Amazon. This solid one here I got from Amazon. But these are all of my all of my highlighters. So this area here is highlighters. Um, these are my highlighters as well. And then this over here, these are all of my blushes. And two face palettes. These are from Sephora. So I have those, those in here as well. But it's really kind of easy for me, so I know that when I go over in this area, I have my primers, my glow products, my highlighters, my blushes. So this is all together. It makes it a lot easier. Um, so now diving into the palettes. So let me start by saying this is a small space. <laughs> uh, it is hard to see the stuff in the drawer. So if you have ideas within the small space, I'm totally open to it. But the way this drawer works, it honestly looks just like palette stuck in here, but there is some kind of rhyme to reason in this here. So this side here are all of my pink and purple and lilac type colors, which is like one of my favorites to wear. So from this palette here over, you're going to have like pastels, pinks. So I know that if I want a pink look, I just literally go in this drawer and go to that side. Um, this side here is my warm tone palette, so, uh, yeah, pretty much it. There's no other way to describe that. These are my warm tone palettes. Um, I'm not going to go into all of these right now. I'll probably do another video where I can go into my collection. Um, but these are warm. This side's warm. This side's pink. I have another drawer that I'm not going to show you, uh, just because it's over on the other side, but it's where I have my colorful palettes. They just didn't fit in these over here. And it's kind of hard to open this with one hand. But this is my catch-all drawer. This is the drawer where I have palettes that have lots of different colors in it. So, like the Jackie Ina one has warm and has cool in it. The Gemini one is kind of neutral, but it's kind of funky and not. This is green-ish with brown. Um, this one here. So this is the catch-all drawer. This is the drawer that has palettes that are going to give you multiple vibes which I love so I know that sometimes I don't really completely know what color story I'm wearing that day or how I feel and I'll go into this drawer and go oh okay well I have one palette where I can just kind of play and put it all together so I call it my catch-all drawer because it has again palettes that have lots of different colors in them um so yeah this is my catch-all drawer okay so back to this side this side here, the top drawer is a mixture of lots of different things. So over here I have my liquid shadows, I have my um, glitter topper shadows. So this area here is all that. This area here 
is uh, single shadows, but these are not like the ones I showed you before. These are, um, so I have my ColourPop Super, Super Shock, the Jelly Shadows. Um, I do have, I don't use these much anymore, but these were kind of like my first, when I first was wearing makeup, my MAC ones. Um, so there's that, and then a random Black Natasha and Black uh, Urban Decay, but these are single shadows here. And then here is an overflow of my luxury palettes. So these are the smaller luxury palettes. So I have luxury or high end. So like my Charlotte Tilbury, my Dior, um, Tom Ford. I have some Makeup Geek here. Uh, Laura Mercier. Viseart is here. Um, Makeup Geek is here. I have a couple of Marc Jacobs. Um, got this palette that didn't get a lot of reviews, but I actually really like it. Um, so this top one here is just really all that. It's something that I can go into and either get a liquid shadow, liquid topper, glitter topper, um, some single shadows that I like, or my smaller luxury high end that don't fit. Uh, or it just seems better to put them up here. So that's what this drawer is. Then this drawer is all my babies. These are my babies. <laughs> These are my babies. I keep saying that. This is all my... Um, Natasha Denona, and then this side is my Pat McGrath palettes. So, yeah, these are my babies. This is what this drawer is. And then this last drawer down here, oh, it's hard to open. It's because on the bottom I have one hand. These are all my neutral palettes. Um, minus these little ones here. Those kind of have other colors, but that's where I put all of my... Fenty Snap Shadows. I have to put that someplace else. But these are all my neutral palettes in this drawer here. So yeah. I like to close it with my foot. <laughs> um, so you guys, I hope you liked the little tour and kind of a insight into my mind. <laughs> Hopefully it makes sense to you guys. If it doesn't, it works for me. Um, but please, I would love it if you guys would just go ahead and maybe leave some comments below. Do you like the organization? Do you have other ideas? Um, how do you organize your makeup? All those great things I'd love to hear. Um, because as you saw, there's some drawers with a lot of palettes in it, so I can't actually see them all. Um, but yeah, just little things like that. So yeah, I'm not going to continue to ramble. Um, please, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, I'm sure I'm popping up a little thing here. Please go ahead and hit the like button. And what else in self-promotion? <laughs> My Instagram. Please, uh, at the end of this video, I love to be creative on both platforms, and so I'd love it if you join the family here and there. Um, I'm popping up what my Instagram looks like somewhere on the screen, so I'd love it if you just take a quick trip to my Instagram. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Thank you for giving me some of your time. As always, I really do appreciate it, and I appreciate you. And yeah, so whatever time it is, morning, noon, or night, thank you again, and I hope you have a good day. Bye.